hi guys welcome back to my channel today is saturday um and now that i am working full time throughout the week at a job that i absolutely love so i'm no way complaining um but that means i need to get some things done today i want to tidy up my house um, I am going to include a grocery haul from last night. So when I got off of work, I went to Aldi um, because I didn't want to have to go on a Saturday or a Sunday. I would have rather just gotten it done last night. Um, and so I already filmed that and I will include that in this video. Um, but I literally shoved everything in my refrigerator and pushed all the like dry goods aside so that we could have movie night and make a yummy little treat if you want to check out our spooky goosebumps um kitty cocktails follow me on tiktok my link is down below a lot of fun happens there as well as here um but yeah so i thought that i would bring you along with me for my day and hopefully get a lot done so i can enjoy my evening later on and all day tomorrow um, with my family but I do like to keep a clean house and so yeah that is one of my priorities today um, and look at these little earrings where my little ghosts I got a six pack from um, the children's place I did it around Christmas time as well last year and I seriously can't get enough of their little stud earrings they're so cute yesterday I wore the black cats and today I have the ghosts on um, but yes, please like and subscribe if you are new and if you are returning. Thank you so much for continuing to support my channel. I absolutely love having this little community where I can um, talk with you in the comments and we can get to know each other even more. And yeah, anyways, let's get on with the video. Um, this mama needs to start her day with some coffee and then get into all the other fun things. Someone did you wrong I can see it in your eyes It's like your fire is gone Across your face It is written across your face If you want to talk I'm right here Not gonna leave your side Just feel free to open up When the moment's right Across your face It is written across your face If you want to go out We can go out You can hide away Just for one night but if you want to cry, just let it out. I'm by your side now. Okay, so if you hear my son yelling, he gets very excited when he plays video games with his friends. And that's what he's doing. So, anyways, I got a, a gallon of 2% milk. 2% lactose-free milk. Orange juice. Half and half. We got some Mexican style cheese. It has cheddar, Monterey Jack, um, and I'm not sure how to say that in quesadilla. So I want to make some veggie quesadillas this week. Um, some Monterey Jack cheese and Kobe Jack cheese. A huge bag of potatoes. A big bag of chicken nuggets and a big package of chicken breasts some oven roasted chicken breast lunch meat some mild cheddar cheese slices um two cans of cinnamon rolls um i have one in the fridge already and then i grabbed another one to um make the delicious apple the tiktok apple cinnamon roll dessert um, and then I thought my friend was with me, um, but she was in a different aisle and I thought she might need one too because I told her about the dessert, but I guess she had some on hand. So I was like, I'll just take them because they never go to waste in our house. My oldest especially is obsessed with cinnamon rolls. I got some ground turkey to make chili this week and pork chops. Some beef stew meat. I really want to make beef stew. Um, this is pretty pricey though. 
was $7.62. So once I open it up, I'll decide if I want to use it all or save some for another recipe, depending on how much it actually is because it's like shrink wrapped. Um, green beans, broccoli, two bags of California medley. If you have not tried sour cream on your California medley veggies with a little bit of sea salt, so good. Corn, uh, milk chocolate chips. I want to make some homemade chocolate chip pumpkin bread. Some cream cheese for bagels, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Two tubs of sour cream. Two dozen eggs. Some carrots. French toast sticks and waffles. A big package of green grapes. Two avocados. Blueberries. A lot of their fruit didn't look very good. Um, but I have a big... Um, I have a lot of apples in my fridge because I got a bag of apples from work. So we have plenty of fruit for the next few days, next week or so. Um, two cucumbers, a package of green peppers, and a package of multicolored peppers. Um, I'm going to use a green pepper and a chili. I have onions on hand. And then I will slice them to snack on. And then same with the multicolored peppers. And I'll also um, use these in the veggie quesadillas. Two cans of jumbo flaky layer biscuits. They're so good. Um, you know how sometimes like the generic um, biscuits will like leave a weird taste in your mouth? Like a film almost? These do not. Some um, Olive Garden Italian dressing but the Aldi brand. Some General Sow's... Um, sauce, peanut butter, the pumpkin to make pumpkin chocolate chip bread, syrup, I needed more olive oil because I'm out, some more marinara sauce, salsa, I like the mild, some stewed tomatoes for the chili, black beans for the veggie quesadillas, the apple for um, the yummy cinnamon roll dessert, Six cans of tomato sauce for the chili. Thousand Island dressing. Two cans of cream and mushroom soup for my pork chop recipe. And then we saw these fried apples. And I used to love getting um, the cinnamon apples from Denny's. When Charlie! <laughs> when my husband and I dated. Um, and I don't know if these will taste like it, but I wanted to heat them up and try because I used to love those. Pumpkin spice yogurt covered pretzels. I'm hoping that these taste equivalent or close to the Trader Joe's ones. Trader Joe's has like a crunchy topping on the top and these don't, but they still look delicious. And then I got some Snickerdoodle spiced almonds to try and some caramel apple trail mix. Some creamy caramel dip. My kiddos love dipping apples in caramel. And then two packs of Reese peanut butter cups to put in my new pumpkin jar. Sponges. And then my friend showed me this. She says it's delicious. So it's pumpkin pie dessert hummus. So I got some pretzels to dip in that. Oh, and then one of, actually, let me save that for last um okay restaurant style tortilla chips white cheddar puffs pub style pretzels mesquite kettle chips my friend said that these were so good um cinnamon and brown sugar sweet potato chips so i thought we would try those and then some regular mini pretzels for the dessert hummus um my husband loves these half and half tea so i got him a case of those some big burrito tortilla shells, two boxes of these honey grams. If you like golden grams, do not sleep on all these honey grams because they taste just like them and they are so good. Chocolate chip granola bars, peanut butter, I mean, chocolate covered peanut butter granola bars. And then I wanted to try these because again, my friend Jess, dang Jess, you like picked out half of my, um, groceries if you're watching this um pumpkin spice Belvitas. we love Belvitas, and i like pumpkin 
except for pumpkin coffee. I'm not the biggest pumpkin coffee person. Um, and then these brownies, um, blondie style. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Look at that. So I gotta try those. Some Italian bread, because we love them. And then I got these harvest, see, again, <laughs> just harvest multigrain bagels with cranberries and seeds. And that is what I'm gonna try with the plain cream cheese. I don't think my kiddos will like them. Maybe my youngest, but my husband and I, I think will. Plastic wrap, gallon bags, rotini noodles, some penne, two boxes of the um, shells and white cheddar cheese, some thin wheat crackers. These are just like wheat thins. They're so delicious. Saltines to go with chili. Um, and then also the potatoes are gonna go with the chili too. So if you want crackers, you can have crackers. If you want on a baked potato, you can have on a baked potato. And then I got all the wine because at work today we were talking about all the delicious Aldi wine. And I have never tried the sweet red um, in this brand. So I wanted to try it. And then I have tried the Moscato. It's my favorite. So I got that. And then I got a sweet apple because I don't think my friend and I had tried sweet apple. So we both grabbed that. And then I got strawberry, um, which I'm already... <laughs> into it because I feel like you work all week and then you grocery shop Friday evening while you're putting the things away you deserve a glass of wine if you would like one and I would like one so um and then I got the cinnamon pumpkin latte candle and it smells so good like so so good and look at how cute so cute let's get that and then the last thing from Aldi so excited I had my same doormat since we moved in which there's nothing wrong with that I love it but I was really excited to get a fall one and Stella likes it a lot too hi Stella hey girl and it says hello pumpkin they had a super cute one um I can't remember what it said on it but it had a bunch of little like white ghosts around it and it was so cute I almost got that one too or instead but I didn't you wanted a ghost one um, so that's it from Aldi. I spent way too much. I spent $252, but I think this will last us almost two weeks. Of course, I'll have to get milk and some produce and some coffee creamer. Um, maybe some more meat, but we'll see. We'll see what I can do. And then from Target, I just picked up some sparkling water. This watermelon lime flavor is so delicious. Um, Roaring Waters, because my little one's obsessed with these, and these are great for his lunchbox. We always have family movie night on Friday, um, and so we're making a special spooky um, drink. So it's Sprite, um, Rainbow Sherbet, gummy worms, and then I'm going to use the artificial free um, food coloring to make the Sprite like green. So I'll show it on my TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, make sure that you do because a lot of fun stuff happens on tiktok as well as youtube for me and then lastly i got this um candy jar so my friend actually picked it up for me and i've been waiting to see her to get it so that's what the Reese's are for so i'll show it when it's all filled um and i'll show me putting some of this stuff away and all that but it's late and it's movie night so I am probably going to do that tomorrow, so I will pick up where I left off. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna taste test some of the new Aldi yummy finds from our grocery haul. Well, we're hoping they're yummy. So, we're each gonna pick one thing to try, and we're all gonna try it. So, okay, let's gonna go first. Ooh, the cinnamon and brown sugar sweet potato chips. Smell good. They smell like sweet potato. Ew. I don't like sweet potato. Charlie doesn't like sweet potato, but sweet potato is They might be good. <laughs> Are they good? Let's see. Mmm. -hmm. You have to like sweet potato. If you don't, you probably wouldn't like them. But if you do. I like the fries. Yeah, you do. So I say yes. 
Caleb says, yes? Yes. Well, he wants to try another one, so. And Charlie says, no. you have to like sweet potatoes in order to like these, but they're really good. Okay, you're next, but you need some water? No, sweet. How is sweet cream? Yes, he needs whipped cream in between. <coughs> All right. Yes. Snickerdoodle spiced mm -hmm. almonds. I like almonds, but not snickerdoodle. They will be good. Oh, they smell so good. You don't like snickerdoodle cookies? They smell so good. Ready? Mmm. Yeah. Um, what's good about these is you really only need a, a few, right? Wouldn't you say? They're very flavorful. Thumbs up. Side. Thumbs to the side. So I gave the other one two thumbs up. That one's just a thumb to the side. That one's just okay. And Charlie and mommy vote yes. Very cinnamony, but very. Cinnamon. You definitely taste the spice. And for mommy, try I'm trying these. Oh yeah, I want to compare these to the Trader Joe's. Like I said in the grocery haul, Trader Joe's has um, like crumble on top. But oh yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, you got two. You get to try two. Oh, <laughs> oh Charlie, I don't get that kind of delicious. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm, those are the best ones. Mm hmm. Yes. I. Yes. Definitely. This is my favorite out of all, I would say. Want another one? I would say you only need a few of these. Mm hmm. Oh, you already got them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Super good. I don't know. Should we go for caramel, it? Should we just try all of it? Can we try caramel apple too? Okay. We we're only going to do three, but instead. We're gonna do all six. Caramel apple trail mix. Mm -hmm. Gotta get a, gotta get a crunchy, yep, a yogurt, and a little cup. Crunchy, crunchy. Don't worry, my hands are clean. Oh, I love these. Oh, this smells good. Oh, and an almond. <coughs> you want the almond or the cup? The cup? You want the almond? Okay. Oh, it good. oh, here we go. I got one of each, too. It smells like cold. It smells like. You want the almond? Cinnamon. Okay. Two. Three. You're going to eat it all at once? One. Yeah. Okay. Go. Chew it. Go. The little cups are caramel apple. Mm hmm. Thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I like it more than you. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> One and a half thumbs up. All of these are really sweet, though, so you really don't need a lot, which is good. These would be awesome on charcuterie boards, which maybe I'll make one tomorrow for football Sunday. Okay. Next, let's try, let's save these for last. I feel like those are gonna be so good. No. Let's try the Belveda pumpkin spice. Oh, those are we all just gonna try one? <laughs> We're gonna Thanks. all share. Yeah. In case we don't like. Just a taste test. Aww. Well, if you like, I you can have more. The inside. Oh, yeah, you want the inside? <laughs> Here, I'll take that one. Here. Is that okay, Charlie? All right. Okay. Belvita pumpkin spice. Mm hmm. It tastes like the Scooby Snack things. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My husband is going to love these. These kind of remind me of windmill cookies. My mom would have loved these. Oh, you okay, babe? <laughs> Dang, you okay? Like mm hmm. Really good, better than I thought. 
And then the last one, yeah, these definitely taste like the windmill cookies I had growing up. If you were born in the 80s and you like the windmill cookies, try these. Comment down below if they are very similar. Yeah, these are definitely a winner. Good job, Jess. Jess told me those were good. Okay. And then, last but not least, the Blondie Style Brownies. Well, we did make these for Easter, remember? But these are already made. Stella's like, I wish I could taste oh, this. Oh, does it smell so good? Oh, it does smell so good. Sorry, you can have. I have a double. I don't know if you're gonna like this. as good as I thought they'd be. I would honestly say these are better. They barely taste like anything. Yeah. The top, my top number one is this. Uh-huh. What else do we think? These. The punches are good. Top and number Caleb's, one. Caleb is our sweet potato lover. Daddy's going to love those too as well because he loves sweet potatoes. I don't like this. You don't like it? You almost ate the whole. <laughs> I don't like it, Mom, even though I have one bite left. Okay. Well, thank you guys. There's three honest opinions of the fall Aldi snacks. But all of them are good. They're just, except Charlie doesn't like those, but some are definitely better than others, right? And apparently, Caleb's going to eat those for breakfast. <laughs> okay. Now to cleaning. Hmm. But luckily, I have these two to help me because they're about to do their chores, right? What? <laughs> Chore time! So certain days, especially the weekends when the boys have more things to do um, because I try to take it easy on them during the week when they're at school and all that. But they still, of course, have things to do during the week as well. I'm not saying that they don't. Um, but they love to be able to check things off of a paper list. And I don't know if you're the same way, but I am. And I feel so much more accomplished when I have a list and I check things off. So I do that for my boys too. So I did Caleb's and he knows how to read now. So that's really exciting when he was a little bit younger and was still learning to read or could not read yet. I would draw little pictures to um, help him like understand what he was supposed to do. And then of course I'm right here too to help guide if needed um but now he can read so i'll still help him if he gets stuck on a word or something but like i said there's caleb's list and then there's charlie's list charlie is 11 and caleb is seven so yes charlie has a few more chores to do um but that's just the perk of being the bigger brother I am alright There's something about the way you make me feel inside I'm counting down the days till we fly away Heading to the sun, only you and me I oh, don't wanna waste another day Being stuck here in this place No, I wanna hold your hand in mine Watch the sunset in your eyes Baby, I wanna still act like we are 22 Play songs on the radio too loud This could be magical
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down So after grocery shopping, like I had said before, I just like threw everything in my fridge. And so now I'm just going to go back and organize it. Um, I tried washing these shelf liners um, or drawer liners in our case, um, rather, but no matter what, they still just look so gross. And even though I know they're clean, I was just, ugh. I don't know I'm just not a fan of them still looking like that so I need to buy some new ones um I've had them since we moved into our house and we've lived here for a little over two years so I would say they're still definitely worth it but in the meantime I just wiped out my drawers and I just laid some white paper towel down um to line them until I get some new liners dreamed about nothing else other than you i always thought i'd be waiting waiting in vain but suddenly there you were never thought it'd be easy to feel you in my arms but now we're here and i'm all in and i want to buy you because i can stay till the morning
too late to feel you Is it too late to tell you About how much I'm sorry For the things I have done For the things I never did But I promise dear I'll never let you go My hubby was so happy when he opened the fridge and saw that it was all neat and full. Um, I usually keep a pretty neat fridge, um, but since I had gone grocery shopping just the night before, we are definitely in need of some things to fill up our fridge. And so although it looks very neat when it is not super full, um, it feels really good to have a full fridge of food for our family and we are so thankful. <laughs> And these brown baskets in my pantry are from the Dollar Tree. If you're new here, um, or if you may have missed my videos about me talking about them, but they are seriously amazing for a dollar twenty-five. And like I've said before, um, I really like the dark brown in my kitchen because my kitchen is kind of like the. I don't know if it's like country I don't know what it is but it's like the relaxing like brown um and my countertops are kind of like that mocha um my walls are actually called mocha if I'm not mistaken um the paint that we chose and so yeah I just really like them I just feel like everything looks really neat um and organized and right now super full because like i said i just went grocery shopping so our cabinets and our fridge are full but yeah i seriously love the dollar tree for organizing because it is so affordable and so nice looking you said he only want to see his friends another week went by and we barely even spoke I'm beginning to read a sequence Why did you turn your back on me? Maybe there's something I don't see Could you just shed a little
circles Wondering where to start This long overdue conversation Why we're falling apart Awake, tossing and turning One more endless fight Since I heard the heart that hurts the most but I'm ready to let go so now I thank you for making it easy to leave I can hear myself breathing as I walk out the door To my old hometown Picking up the years I leave behind Getting in my car I drive as memories fly by Driving by the fields I used to run through Where you were chasing me We were riding out under the bleachers When no one could see Oh, sweet memories Of a town I loved but i
And as you can see, my littlest one was so anxious to help me. And he was just so excited about it. And I was so proud of him. And although it does take a little bit longer um, with some extra hands, some extra little hands, I should say, it is so worth it because we are going to miss this one day. And look how happy he is. <laughs> it makes my mama heart so happy. And there might come a day when they don't want to help and they would rather be out with their friends or whatever. And so just soak up these moments and enjoy them. Wishing for this road to take us far. Now I've been away too long. I'm going home. Oh, sweet memories of a town. Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend cause you find the way you are. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. Stay forever We lying in my arms My heart is open It just took some time Now I just hope that you'd stay for a little while You fix what's broken When you make that smile So just stay for a little while So just stay for a little while I didn't think that I would find that someone Who's as honest as you are The way you make me feel at night When I am vulnerable And it's cold outside to make it all right I want to know you better oh. Give me every detail oh. I won't judge you as you know Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more and stay peaceful. Oh.